guys, welcome back. And as promised, today we're going to be doing a video on how to protect your bike for cheap. You're not going to need much. This should take about 10 minutes. Uh, once you get it down, it goes even quicker. So what you need is some isopropyl and water mix or anything like that. I'll discuss that later in the video. Some 3M tape, which I will link in the description. It's clear protective tape. You can get this in both gloss and matte. A ruler to measure out the tape. And scissors. And that's it. Let's get to it. All right, so obviously for starters, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pick the spot on your frame which you wanna protect. I've already done this, as you can see. So I'm just going back after and explaining it to you guys. But uh, so measure it out. So we have about 15 inches there. And I've used a, like a soft flexible ruler to measure the top tube. And uh, we need about three inches this way. So go ahead and Mark that out on your tape. You can go ahead and just unroll it and use a sharpie. When you are doing that though, do not mark it on the clear part because you do not want that on there. Make sure it's on the back. And uh, what I like to do also is cut a little bit of a taper in the corner. It gives it a cleaner look and on your actual small corners, as you can see, you want to go ahead and cut out a little notch. That prevents uh, corners from lifting and uh, keeps it on there a lot longer. So yeah, so go ahead and do that, and then we'll go ahead and get the tape going. Alright, so before you put the tape down, you just want to go ahead and give the frame surface or whatever you're going to put it on a quick clean. Make sure there's no lint or anything like that on here or outside so there was some pollen. Make sure you get anything like that off and keep it as clean as you possibly can. Isopropyl alcohol works perfectly. And then next, go ahead and actually spray your fingers down with isopropyl as well as the frame again. Uh, like a 80% water to 20% isopropyl alcohol mix uh, works pretty pretty much perfect. You can also use dish soap, but uh, you might want to use probably like a 90, 10 blend at that point. So now that your fingers are covered and your frame's covered, go ahead and peel your tape off. Make sure I have cut this in a certain way. So this is the front. So we'll go ahead and peel that off first. Just like that and take it off go ahead and coat that too and this will keep it from sticking to anything and also keep any fingerprints from developing on it you can really get it wet and then go ahead and simply place it exactly where you want it make sure it's centered and the water is really dynamite because it it helps it to move around so you don't get stuck if you put it in the wrong spot you can slide it around and go ahead and put some pressure in the middle and just work the water out and go up down and start in the middle and then just slowly work your way to the outsides you can see the bubbles in there the water will come right out just keep working it work the sides and also if you do this right you shouldn't even have bubbles to begin with, but if you do, don't get worried because this tape does allow for water and air to pass through over time. So after a week or so, any any small bubbles you have should go away. But if you do this the right way, as you can see, it goes on perfect. And I should also mention that uh, if it is a, a matte frame, it's clearly going to turn gloss. But I kind of prefer that look to, to begin with anyways. So you can also buy matte tape for this. Go ahead and work on the other side. I'll do that off camera. And as you can see, guys, uh, turns out pretty well. I'll show you the finished result. But uh, as you can see so far, pretty simple and straightforward. All right, guys. So as you can see, it uh, turned out perfectly. No bubbles or anything. Uh, I hope this was informative enough for you. It's really not that hard. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But uh, this uh, is going to obviously help your bike stay nicer looking for a longer time. And when you go to sell it, you should retain a little bit more value because of that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this video is helpful. Have any questions, leave them in the comments. And please like and subscribe, guys. Thanks to those of you who subscribe already. Catch on the trails.